I, I'm unfortunately, I'm in a bit of a brittle state throughout this conference, so I didn't really have a chance to, to prepare the slides. And so the, co the context of this, um, this session is um, that we as the, as the Swarm team, as the project scope grew, um, we kind of under to undertaken the, the task of providing some base layer services for Web3. What does this mean? We, we, we want to provide some services which, which uh, cater for web developers to, to migrate their projects to, from, from the Web2 to stack to, to Web3. This includes node-to-node -node messaging, as you, as you might have seen uh, Louis Swarbrook's talk on PSS, and also includes uh, some payment solutions or like infrastructure to, to run uh, service networks using the swap swell and swindle paradigm. And thirdly, uh, and very importantly, um, some sort of database support. Now, so, now basically the, 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 swarm, so the swarm team kind of launches um, some different working groups around different topics. One, one uh, like today, today's session kind of nicely maps to, to, to these working groups. Uh, we, we have one working group around PSS messaging, one around uh, streaming uh, integration uh, with, with live peer, uh, one uh, around the, the swap swell and swindle games paper, and fourthly, uh, the, the, the database group. Currently, the most active participant in this is, is, is the company called Walk, who are, um, we, are, we are very privileged to have them in the audience right now. So they dedicate a, a lot of manpower to this, to this project. It's, it's just launching. So I kind of want to, want to briefly touch upon you know, some aspects that, we, that we're trying to target with, with this project. Uh, it's, um, As, as you might know, Swarm uh, underlyingly is just a chunk store. So uh, the, the underlying network of, st of storage just takes care of, of distributing chunks of, of fixed size to particular nodes in the network and it retrieves those. And all, all the uh, higher level uh, API functionality is, like, is, is builds, builds on that. So for, for example, when you, when you retrieve an asset in, in, a, in your browser, when you retrieve a file, there's a, there's a mechanism which takes the, takes the root hash of, of the swarm tree and uh, retrieves intermediate chunks. From this, it recovers the, the next level of, 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 of intermediate chunks. And finally, it resolves the files into, into the actual data chunks, which when retrieved, they, you know, uh, uh, sequenced, sequenced one after the other, and and give you the give you the asset, and, and that you can render in the browser. Now, in, in an even higher level, there's there's a thing called manifest, which uh, is is basically uh, the 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 tool that enables URL based addressing of of content over Swarm. It uh, it, it, it's based on uh, having having a so so the, the, the root hash of a of a of a of a website is 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 you retrieve a manifest and uh, the manifest is, is basically contains a, a, an index from uh, URL from path path to 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 hashes. Which uh, corresponds to a to a routing table in the in the you know original um, you know in, in what what you, what you normally see on servers when you when you retrieve a domain then it's 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 it basically uh, routes uh, you know certain certain paths that you see in the URL and and you, you resolve in, into into hashes. But in the same way, the, this index can be thought of as a as a as a as an index of a database, because it's it's it simply just you know um, associates a, a particular key that you again it's it's the same as the, as the path in the URL string to to a, to an asset or to, to a database record. 
So that's there's the, in in this sense there's already one very uh, simple way to to represent indexes or, or databases in in Swarm using manifests. Uh, what what this what this scheme is missing really is a is a is a smooth way to to prove that for example uh, an index uh, generated from a from a uh, original database is 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 correct so it it does not contain spurious entries and it it uh, does not contain omissions uh, regarding to a, to a to a to an original, uh, you know, prim primary data source, and so so one one uh, aspect that we we would like to uh, work on is to have this this provable provable databases and provable uh, queries, uh, uh, and um, so 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 basi basically. Uh, this this is the this is a, a, a crucial um, feature that that will allow the database services to be fully decentralized because if you if you have uh, if you have all the, the database processes for example indexing is, is is provable then you don't need any kind of reputation system or or you know any other mechanism to 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 uh, select uh, your service providers, and uh, it allows for for a trustless uh, service network to, to to provide these services. So there there are there are a few tricks which we which we can cut short this problem. So one 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 solution might be simply to to take SQLite, and SQLite has a has a, a file structure which which you can simply store on Swarm. It has uh, it has a configurable uh, page size, so you can configure it to to correspond to the to the um, um, swarm uh, chunk size, which is 4K, and the the, tri the trick would be to have the, the whole SQLite uh, implementation simply um, uh, compiled to Wasm and to Solidity, and then. Uh, you can use Truebit to to simply um, prove that 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 query resolution is is correct. So that's 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 one um, possible avenue. The other one is to use uh, the, uh, the the latest um, implementation of the Swarm hash, which uses binary Merkle uh, t trees uh, for the hash. We, the, the, the 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 fact that that we use uh, binary Merkle trees over over the chunks for for the chunk hash, is gives us uh, the opportunity to have uh, very compact uh, inclusion proofs, in like to uh, to, to, a, to a very um, fine resolution of of 32 bytes. So so any kind of inclusion in a in a in a chunk can can be um, can be proven and. The the the, sh the short proof can be verified then on the blockchain. So the the um, so we, we, we kind of we we trying to come up with a with a clever uh, serialization um, scheme, we, and and together with the canonical serialization and the inclusion proofs, you can directly map, uh, for example, statements like you know. Um, you have you have an original data data source, which let's let's say uh, let's 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 get an example. So, for example, you you are a you operate a, a flight aggregator site, and and you your customers are uh, um, or your your data providers are like travel agents, which publish their uh, their flight offers, and. They want to make sure that if they publish a, a flight offer, then th their their offer will be included in the in the current search uh, results for for uh, in on the flight aggregator side. So what what you do is you register, for example, your your uh, your primary data source where you published uh, the the offers, and and 
the, 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 the indexing service that, that you know, aggregates these data sources and, and produces a, a, a common aggregate index uh, can, can um, be tested against um, uh, statements like this particular offer from like Cancun to uh, Mexico City, um, at, at this price um, from by this airline is is actually included in the in the in the aggregate index, and the and if if we, if we find a, a, a clever canonical serialization scheme for for the database uh, layout, and and use inclusion proofs, then basically this statement can be translated into into a into in, into uh, into basic into into an inclusion proof that you can submit to to, a, to the blockchain and a smart contract can can evaluate that that th that particular statement is true and since since that uh, is, is is a mechanistic process that you know you can you can it's, it's it simply answers yes or no it can be used in a in a in a witness contract in, in a swap swear and swindle game so so when when the f f then the, when the database indexer registers uh, their service to to index a, a particular um, a primary data source then they they commit to a to a service contract which then uh, you, you can you can challenge uh, that that service context if if you find that the that the data item was not included in the in the index so i don't know if this this is more or less clear uh, th so th that's 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 one uh, aspect that we that we're trying to uh, integrate and th this is this is kind of very important because all the all the other solutions that we see in the in the space for 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 all these all these data gateways including um, big chain and 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 uh, um, also I IPRD, uh, the IPFS uh, data solution they are they are very very nice in in I, I, will, I, will, I will give you some features that that are very important in in those paradigms but they 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 seem to ha have this like missing piece where where you can actually have um, a, a, you know provability of 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 the database uh, uh, operations and and provability of of query query uh, requ uh, responses um, so so IPRD for, for example is is a, is a, is a very um, evolved uh, um, you know database structure which we we definitely uh, rely on so we, we kind of as is, is basically an extension of that what what's 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 included in that it's it's basically a, a, a json like uh, um, um, attribute value structure uh, um, scheme which uses uh, uh, linked linked um, so so y y the in the embedded structures in the in the in the JSONs can be referred to with the, with the content address of the of the of the embedded object, which means that it's 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 genuinely provides integrity protection over your data, and uh, and the important thing is with this with this content address uh, links is that uh, if if you if you if you map these these data structures into an in, in memory. Uh, data structure then then these these links are typically pointers and uh, using content content uh, addresses these pointers can be uh, directly mapped to 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 references in a distributed storage so it, it, so given given the given this database uh, layout it's, it's it immediately defines how to how to store such Huge graph databases in a, in a decentralized storage system. So, and and this this gives uh, this this leads me to the to the next important point, which is also going to be a relatively novel feature in in our um, in our framework, 
which is that um, since since the since the pointers are uh, you know references to the in, in uh, to the content analysis in the, in the distributed storage, all the all the database operation or the data structure operations like like merge or or delete or add, uh, they can this this a similar similar way to to have the uh, defined on on po pointers as, as like re recursive recursive functions to to. Um, Across these these embedded structures, they they simply map to to uh, to network protocols. So so w when you when you when you when you define a, an a, an add or merge function over over an in-memory database and you use pointers to pointers to like children to to define the 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 next level in the in the recursion. The same way you can. Uh, um, you can define um, protocols over the over the swarm network to 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 op to carry out those operations, and this this is very very interesting uh, approach because it allows for you know basically out outsourcing uh, to the network an, an update to the database, so you, you don't have to pre-compute yourself. Um, a, a, an addition in a, in a huge data graph, but you just you just simply uh, se send a message to the to the to the address that corresponds to the root hash of the database, with with the with the with the with the request that please add this extra item to the to the database, and what it does it it simply looks up in its children where 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 the the data has to be uh, added, and simply looks up a, a con content address that points to that that um, intermediate node and and forwards a message to them so it's it's like basically uh, instead of instead of recursing on an in, in memory structure it's recursing um, in, in like in, in, as, a, as a sequence of mess relayed messages so uh, so uh, like to basically as as you can see this this uh, topic kind of links all the all the components we were talking about today uh, together, because this 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 um, uh, database operations can be um, 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 can be um, these database operations can be um, um, described as. Uh, as 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 PSS uh, protocols, basically, and uh, in the same way as as PSS messaging is is incentivized, these database services are, are also, uh, you know, can can the, when when I send a message to update, it's basically a, a, a service request that uh, we we talked about in swap server and swindle game context. These are kind of promissory notes, basically. That that become uh, mature and and become uh, rewardable when when the when the update happens and and you can you can formulate uh, proper you know verification criteria with with a with a witness contract when when to to verify that a particular update happened and in the same way as uh, other services. If you if you fail to uh, comply with 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 the, with, the, with the service promise that you that you index uh, um, the particular data source, then uh, then you can be challenged on the blockchain, and you 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 can you you basically uh, stand to lose your deposit uh, as a, as a result. So. So these are these are the things that I wanted to mention. And sorry, I'm I'm a bit running out of steam now. So I I hope you don't mind that I will um, just cut it short.